Obviously, Peter is one of the most iconic photo photographers in the world. He has huge collectors. He fetches a great deal of money. So in the end, my whole elephant parade it serves three purposes. is to raise money to buy habitat, okay? You, uh, think that. The auction of the elephants, of course, is the most important thing because we have to raise that money through the auction of the elephants. So therefore, to, to get someone like Peter Beard to do an elephant is something quite extraordinary. Okay, good. And what we'll do is we'll try and bulge the eye out a little bit with tape so that it doesn't have a stressful <laughs> life. Don't, don't do it too hard because it, it should be a little bit out. See what I mean? Well, that one's in. That one's out. Yeah, that's cool. Peter has some extraordinary photographs. I mean, some of the great photographs I've ever seen. I think he's got an acute eye to notice the really unusual things. You know, it's that he catches. And I think that's where he's unique. Okay, get the wet thing ready. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and hit it. Because we, we can do the edges. I think yes. the edges will look like. Okay. Each little picture tells a story. You know, I've been here for two days here. I haven't heard half the stories that are on this. There's a thousand stories in here. This is uh, 1975 or six. The other one I took 1984. That was taken by uh, the Museum of Natural History when they were doing the museum. That looks like Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the American bombs had come. It, there's a, a, a bunch of elephants hovering under the last tree. And here's the future right here. Constipation and solid wood in the stomach and a death's head. It's 50 years of work on one object, of the one object that he really loves, the species he loves. And that is, what a, that is a unique piece of art. This is the first pregnancy out of 200 females. Normally every female is pregnant or has a young one. This is a population under stress. Heart disease is its biggest killer and ours. Um, lots of density related illnesses. Every single elephant we sampled aged 13 to 14 had cardiovascular disease. We are not educated to have any respect for nature. We're warping the information about nature and we are enemies of nature, pushing nature right to the edge. What I think particularly what Peter looks at is more as a tragedy in a way I do as well. I, I, I'm not as, 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 as an expert on African elephants as he is because he recorded this much earlier. But we're looking, you know, if we look here at the background of all of this, there were elephants and elephants, and then you have massive amounts of elephants, and then nothing. This is what really, this area just here is we're looking at denuded forest. And that's where the, the, the great resemblance is between the Asian and the African elephant. The African elephant suffered from ivory and things like that. But that, the way that the forest has been cut down and things like that, in Asia, that is what the Asian elephant faces. It could go extinct in three decades if we do not get habitat for it. It's a great stone, but I just lost it. These elephants are not eating real food, you know that. <laughs> They're desperate. And these stones interest me a great deal. They have... Some animal is eating these stones. That, that's how tough nature is. Look at the beauty of these stones. So, I'm, I'm including them with the piece. If you ever run into anybody who knows <laughs> what the hell kind of an insect this is, and how they eat rock. I, 
I just feel that the way he mixes his images is so extraordinary. If you look at his, uh, his uh, you know, he was influenced by so many people like Francis Bacon, Van Gogh, Van Gauguin. He, he knows so much about art apart from anything else. And the way he mixes, you know, his, his images with his writings, um, I think is, is, is like, you know, they're, they're, more, they're more than photographs, they are works of art. You know, they're, each page is, tells you something. The quotes he takes from something, or his own quotes, is relative to that particular page and what he's thinking. So his whole thought process is going into that as well, not just the, the photograph, which is an amazing photograph anyway. Love these ears. That's, cool. <laughs> That's a brain shot right there. The ear is my ear, as a matter of fact. <laughs> it's, a, it's a freak ear. It's his life in here, in, in a way. So it's, a, it's, it's not a laughing matter. So we, <clears throat> we changed the photograph round, in fact. And, and, and I'm looking gleeful. He's looking exhausted. <laughs> or exhausted because, you know, this is, a, this is a work of love as well, apart from anything else. I don't think I could do it again. It's a lot of work, believe me. <laughs> I believe this is a genius concept because already the press that we have, people love it. They love the idea of these beautifully colored elephants from Peters to big artists to designers. People have just, we were having to turn artists away. 25 million people are going to see this. If this model works, we go global. We'll take this to New York. We'll take this to Singapore. We'll take this to Kuala Lumpur. It's because it's a magical thing to do.